Thanks to Harry Potter Magic Awakened for sponsoring this video. Salutations everybody and welcome back to another episode of Mastering the Magic in Harry Potter Magic Awakened. Oliver, do you remember what Dumbledore's start of term notice was to every first year student? Ah yes, the forest on the grounds is forbidden to all people. Exactly, the forbidden forest is absolutely off limits. Yeah, it literally says so in the name, right? Yes, you couldn't possibly make it any clearer. Do, Do not, not go, go into, into the, the Forbidden, forbidden forest, forest in Harry Potter Magic, Magic Awakened. Awakened. Fred and George Weasley never really cared about the rules. No, and quite frankly, neither do we. The Forbidden Forest in Harry Potter Magic Awakened tasks you with overcoming a series of challenges that become increasingly more difficult as you advance, featuring different storylines and branching paths to choose from. There are many enemies and bosses of all shapes and sizes waiting for you within the forest, including Acromantius, Centaurs, Dragons and more. But a word of caution here, the strategy you perfect for one boss may not work so well on the next. It will be very important for you to have multiple spells in your arsenal. Certain cards may be enhanced during your exploration, making them more impactful during combat. And you'll have to discover what those are yourself. You also don't have to tackle the Forbidden Forest alone. This mode can be played in solo or co-op with other players, and we certainly recommend the latter. You can even add non-player characters, classmates like Ivy, Daniel or Cassandra to your team exploration. And it's always great to have a partner to help you get past the toughest foes. The challenge do scale in difficulty according to the size of your group, so we recommend building a complementary deck with your teammates to help ensure victory. Another tip is many Forbidden Forest foes have wide area of effect strikes that can hurt a lot and are difficult to dodge. The Dobby Echo and the apparition cards it provides can be extremely valuable to avoid damage. But just in case you do get hit, brush up on your potion making skills and stock up on healing potions beforehand. But why should players even risk their lives in the Forbidden Forest to begin with? Wouldn't that be considered, oh I don't know, pathetically dim-witted? Nonsense Oliver! Players must face mortal peril to unlock Echoes, which are characters from the original Harry Potter series that provide special abilities and enhancements to damage, movement and more. Look, it's us! Fred and George Weasley are available as Echo that can dramatically speed up a companion's cooldown and regenerate companion cards when they run out. What's your strategy for the Forbidden Forest? Let us know. And answer this trivia question to receive a little something to help you on your exploration. What species are the giant spiders living in the Forbidden Forest? As always, head to the events page in Harry Potter Magic Awakened to input your answer. Those who choose correctly will receive a helpful gift. We'll see you in the next episode. Thanks to Harry Potter Magic Awakened for sponsoring this video. E aí, gostou do vídeo? Então se inscreva no Warner Play clicando aqui e a gente deixou outras duas sugestões de vídeo para você.